Hello, YouTube. It's been a while since we talked. Uh, people have been writing me, asking me what happened, where I've been, etc., etc. And um, as a lot of you people know, I own a little small business in the U.S. and yeah, that's what funds my missionary work here in the Philippines. And so, no business there, no income here. So I had to take some time off and focus on that. I've got some people that I trusted a lot and um, basically I tried to help them out and uh, they're trying to steal my customers and some have actually succeeded in, in stolen some. Uh, stolen confidential information and uh, it's been quite a quite a setback for me but I'm okay. The Lord always takes care of me. But what I want to talk to you guys about is have you noticed a lot of the people that you thought you knew, how they seem to be changing, in some cases like overnight, you know, just you thought you knew them and then next day they're somebody totally different. <clears throat> it's happened to me a few times now. And, uh, Given me pause to think about a lot, a lot of things. I mean, how can there be so much evil going on in the world? These politicians just voting against us and doing things that, that are clearly sinking our boat and uh, without conscience. And uh, it's like the Bible says in the last days, people's hearts will be seared with hard irons, you know, hot irons, and uh, no conscience, and that's what is facing me, I mean, bearing down right in my face, <clears throat> so if I hadn't been reading the word and been prepared for this to some degree, um, I would probably be freaking out a little bit. But it looked to me like we're right on track. End times are right on top of us. And with everything going on with Israel and Syria and Obama's foreign policy or lack thereof and the Russians getting involved and Chinese and, and I mean, it seems like the world is getting really tired of the USA. And unfortunately, uh, we get sucked into that. <clears throat> those of us that are Americans at least. So, the vast majority of us are innocent, at least to the degree that we don't support what our government's doing. But uh, I guess we're guilty in the sense that we've allowed it to happen. A lot of us have been ranting and raving and screaming and yelling and pleading and begging and jumping up and down and warning and posting videos and doing everything that we can do to wake people up. And have you noticed that there's some people just no matter what, they don't want to see what's going on and the signs are all around us. So <clears throat> that's what this video is about. It's about, you know, end times, hard times, uh, those around you that you think you know, that turn out to being something totally different or someone totally different than who you thought you had a relationship for years in many cases. So, um, you know, the best advice I can give you, I'm sure some of you are going through the same thing and it can be very bewildering um, but understand that these things have to happen. Jesus said that they have to happen. And there's nothing that, you know, we can do about it, but try and judge those trees by their fruit. And, um, you know, but <clears throat> it, it, it's quite, uh, an uncomfortable feeling when, you know, you've had relationships with people for years and then suddenly... You, don't, you can't recognize who they are at all. 
And not only that, but they're trying to destroy you. I mean, in my case, um, I helped a couple of homeless guys. I mean, literally homeless guys. One of them was actually sleeping in a dumpster. He'd lost his accounting firm. And, um, but he had knowledge. He knew QuickBooks. He, he knew accounting. He knew bookkeeping and referred to me uh, by someone. And, and I gave the guy a break. And, and to make a long story short, him and another guy walked out, left me high and dry, no warning, no nothing. And now a trusted ex-employee is teamed up with them, and they're all like rat packing me. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, you can't, it's like you can't make this stuff up. And I can't think of a thing, you know, that I've done to, to, to you know, to make these guys come after me like this. I think it's a, I think it's a demonic attack I, I i think it's because i do my best to share the gospel and uh, you know the spirit uses me to have some impact i don't take any credit all the glory goes to god I'm not trying to say i know it all or anything but you know, i've got some insight the lord gives me that i share you know give freely as it's been given freely to you and uh so that's what i do and, uh, but boy, I tell you what, I just wanted to come on here and tell you that I'm okay. Uh, people have been writing and, and asking about me and stuff. And, and, uh, I'm the kind of guy I kind of get tunnel vision when I get focused on something, I zero in on it. And, uh, until it's resolved, I'm probably about 90 percent in recovery at this point but i got some bruises you know I, I got some hurt feelings a little bit um but you know the words of oswald chambers the guy that wrote you know my utmost for his highest um said uh never i think he said something to the effect of never seek justice in this world but never fail to give it or something pretty close to that <clears throat> so you know i've been praying a lot about it and, and and talking to the lord and going lord what's up you know why are these people betraying me like this and and you know i've done nothing but good and help them and I, I, I fed them when they were hungry and housed them you know when they were had no shelter and and gave them jobs and and, you know, I just feel like a, in the spirit, I hear him say, welcome to my my reality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> at least to a lesser degree. They haven't nailed me to the cross yet, but uh, it could be coming. But um, anyway, I just wanted you guys to, to know that I'm okay. And I want to kind of give you a heads up because... Seems to me there's a lot of demonic activity going on. And I think that people that aren't walking real close to the Lord uh, are subject to be possessed from, you know, on various degrees. It reminds me of a line from the movie The Matrix. And um, where... Uh, the guy said to Neo, he said, anybody that's not awake is a potential agent. So I would liken that to anybody that doesn't know Jesus is potentially possessed by the devil. My feeling is, is um, either you're indwelt by the Holy Spirit or you're indwelt by an unholy spirit. I don't think there's any lukewarm. I don't think there's any straddling the fence. You're either controlled by one or the other. And uh, it seems to me that more people are controlled by the bad side than the good side lately. Which, you know, kind of lines up with what Jesus said. You know, the, the road is narrow. 
but great is the and wide is the road that leads to destruction. Unfortunately, the majority of the people that I see, that's exactly on the you know that's, that's the road they're on. That's the direction that they're going. And I, I don't want to sound judgmental or anything, but I mean all I can do is look at them, look at their actions, look at what the word says, and it's not tough for me to figure out. Of course. You know, I'm not their judge, but I mean, all I can do is compare what I see to the Word. So, I just like to caution you, uh, you know, the people in your life, uh, they're real close. Uh, be careful, because these days, it, it just it just seems like you don't know. I mean, I've had a lot of betrayal in my life, and uh, it's generally over money. I'd say 95% of the time over money. And then there's a certain degree of jealousy there. Why someone would be jealous of me, I have no idea. But uh, I get that. I get people say, you know, they say to me, I wanted to be like you. I wanted to live your life, etc., etc. And uh, all I can say is all that glitters is certainly not gold. Not that I glitter. <laughs> but I think you get the point. Uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up, and you know, I'm sorry if I rambled a little bit there, and you know, but that's just kind of the things on my heart. So I am thinking about you. I do check in sometimes and just see what's happening, and read the comments and the new subscribers and things like that. I'm gonna do my best to be a little bit more active. You know, I haven't walked away and abandoned you. Uh, you are in my thoughts, you are in my prayers. I do care and I do love you guys. And, and uh, you know, thanks for being part of the team. Because we're, we're in this all together. So, with that, I'll say good night and God bless you. Stay close to the Lord, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.